Hi guys, how are you? So I've started this video uh, probably about five times now. <laughs> five to ten, I don't even know anymore. I lost track. Um, you can tell I haven't done it in a while. So I'm getting all tongue-tied. <laughs> So here we go again. Um, today I'm going to do um, a little video on uh, decks I'm going to use this autumn. Uh, the season is already changing. We're kind of approaching fall. I don't think it's officially fall just yet, but we sure are coming to it. And you can feel it come mid, you know, August or so, that real change. The leaves are starting to fall on the trees and it's just such a really cool kind of witchy energy really kind of coming up and uh, it's really I've had such a hankering and every, uh, I think it was last year I told myself I was going to get the uh, green witch tarot but I hadn't yet and then so now I'm like ah green witch tarot so I might have to purchase that one so unfortunately I don't have the green witch tarot yet but I do have some other decks that I find um, come out more to the season of fall uh, for me and I think some of it is color based but others I'm not sure what it is exactly there's something about them so I'll show you some of the decks that I'm going to be working and already have started uh, working with this fall one actually it surprised me because I, I haven't used it in some time was the Llewellyn deck now this deck is a gorgeous deck and you know you get right away those beautiful autumn fall kind of colors with them with this uh, deck like the even the backing you know you've got the nice brownie reds and oranges yellows so this deck uh yeah it really speaks and has that that essence and that feeling of fall um of autumn and yeah it, it's really nice it was a kind of like a breath of fresh air to use this deck um because I really, I love that Celtic kind of feel. I love that old world feel, um, almost like a fairy tale. Um, like I would love to wear this kind of stuff all day. <laughs> um, that would be really cool. Even like that, um, the half moon symbol. I wish we could just wear those kind of things and, uh, you know, be classified as normal in society. <laughs> But of course, I'm in a small town and many people would probably think, you know, what's up with that? So, <laughs> some people, all the power to them, they, they can pull it off. But for me, I just do it on special occasions. Yeah, but I love this deck. It really speaks really loudly. It's super clear. Um, and it really has that earthy essence to it. Like it really feels, especially this High Priestess one, has that um, Gaia energy really um strong strong readings i've had for this i i consider trimming it but i actually don't mind the borders at all um and i think i would just be disappointed by the size and might, might not want to use it as much for readings with other people so for client readings so i keep on using this guy and i think it'll be something that reoccurs uh yearly and i use it um come fall you know, pretty regularly. I seem to have already. So that's the Llewellyn deck. Um, one that I always do use, and it's just kind of like throughout the year, is my Druid Craft. This is kind of my workhorse uh, deck. Here's the backing. I have mine trimmed and uh, I did some gold kind of edging on it. It's already wearing a little bit, but it's not too bad. But uh, this is my workhorse deck and I did put it away for a little while during the summer. I wasn't feeling it at all pretty much during the summer. So I really kind of switched uh, the game on this one and uh, started using some others I noticed right then. So this is kind of my workhorse deck. It's, a, it's um, the most clear deck I have. Uh, I have to say hands down even over the Rider Waite. Rider Waite is awesome but they really it lacks in the facial expressions and um, yeah so you don't get like a lot of the facial expressions are fairly subdued in the Rider Waite and I find in the Dru Druid Craft you know it's much more um, gestural as well as uh, expression it with the facial features with uh, 
you know, even down to the feet and the toes, it makes such huge difference um, and huge impact on on a reading and the essence and the feelings that you get from from that reading. So that's my workhorse. I'll probably always have this going at some point. Now, one that really surprised me, and I think part of it actually was because of Tarot Apocalypse um, has come out. Now, I don't really feel drawn to it, but I do have the uh, Tarot Illuminati. And this one has seriously been sitting in my little tarot box. I have a box that I keep some of my tarot. Um, it has been sitting in there for quite a few months. Uh, and it's just resurfaced and I'm loving it. It's so funny because usually when I pull this deck and I look at it, I'm like, you know, I have a hard time with all the busy. But right now, for whatever reason, I'm really, really drawn to it and I see it and I, everything's very clear. It's almost like uh, a filter on your eyes is being lifted and then it goes on again. And it's almost like a phase where one moment it doesn't work and then the next moment it's really speaking to you and and you see it in a complete in completely different eyes or with completely different eyes so I'm working with this right now actually um, as of two days ago I pulled it out and I'm just loving it so I'm gonna be doing a lot of client readings with this one I think this fall and I kind of, I'm interested to see if it kind of comes through as being a deck that I use regularly for fall time. Or seasonally, I should say. I love this high priestess. It's like one of the best high priestesses done. Just amazing. So that is Tarot Illuminati. Now, the other one I have been using a fair amount on the daily basis is the... Um, messengers oracle um now she just had raven uh felon i think her name is uh she just came out with dreams of gaia which i'm totally gonna buy and i just about purchased it and then i found out they're they're all out they have no more um and maybe she does on her site i just have to go check but i was on amazon and uh now they don't have any more so but that is on the to get list is the dreams of Gaia so I've been actually working with this deck for a few months now and I love it on a personal um, growth level I love it with client readings as clarifiers with the tarot cards and I find it um, it goes more to a spiritual side rather than the everyday practical side so it gives like a different level a different dimension um, and layer to the readings uh, where the tarot maybe is more practical, you know, we can get really, um, spiritual as well, but I find with my everyday kind of readings with clients here in town, it's more on a practical sense on the everyday kind of living. We try and bring in, uh, life lessons and things like that, that we're working through. Um, but I find this really kind of opens the space for thinking a little bit more open, more broad and, um, honing in on that spiritual side um the magical side like it really feels like there's a, a sense of magic to this and i think that really brings it to the fall season too um because it really does feel like that crafting um energy during fall this was the reason why i got the deck because i love my owls yeah so yeah, lovely deck. I hope the trim, I didn't trim this one, but I did put gold on it and it looks sweet because it almost matches it like perfectly on the nose. So that is the messengers. Now another one I've been working with for a little while is the goddess knowledge cards. Um, and this one is my, one of my favorite fast. Oh my gosh. Yes. So I've been working with this deck. Um, in terms of learning more about goddess energy, you know, I really have never done that before. Sorry about the glare, everyone. Um, I've never really worked with the goddess energy. I um, haven't really even learned about it. So uh, it's been really uh, wonderful to have this deck um, because on the back side it has the information. 
um, about that goddess or, or god. Um, I think there might be a couple gods in this one too. Yeah, there is. Um, so, so it's a learning deck as well as, um, maybe perhaps, uh, one that you can do when you're, you know, uh, doing a little ceremony, uh, to that god, paying tribute to the god or goddess, um, that you happen to be working with for a period of time so you can have that card out so it it can be used for so many different um uses and purposes for me i've just been doing daily draws on what um goddess is working with me and part of that is just to learn more about this um deck and how those goddess energies are reflecting in my everyday so it's it's been a really wonderful deck to work with so that one is also going to continue for this fall season. Um, come the summer, I started using uh, just your basic Rider Waite. Um, and I still feel like this energy is still here a little bit. Um, I'm not sure how long into the fall season I'll be using just your the basic Rider Waite. But um, this one is the original Rider Waite. Uh, and I found it just refreshing, to be honest. And I was doing some more uh, work in terms of um, research and more like learning with the tarot just we're always learning so um, I was doing more learning I've been reading the book um, 78 degrees of wisdom so I found you know this is just kind of bringing on that learning edge a little bit more um, you get a hankering for it every once in a while where you just want to kind of dive deep into tarot and pick up anything else that you know you haven't um already associated with the card so it's kind of right now is a time of deep diving for myself so i'll be working with the rider weight and the last um but not least let me just check my time here it's not telling me oh okay i only got a minute or so sorry guys um, is the Mary L. Now I use this deck for, and this one's trimmed again and edged. I use this one for, um, any kind of shadow work that I'm, uh, working on. Um, if I'm trying to look into, uh, a certain instance that's going on, certain, um, you know, event even, and I'm trying to do some path working with it, um, bringing higher knowledge, um, I, I think this is wonderful. It's wonderful for shadow work as well. Uh, anything to broaden that view of consciousness and the way that we look at our lives. Um, it is really, really wonderful. I don't do many um, client readings with this deck. Uh, I do more uh, on a personal level with this deck. Hey, the light's kind of funky. So that's how I'm using this deck right now is just on a personal level, path working, um, diving deep within the subconscious of the self. So that is it. Those are the decks that I'm going to be using. Um, I think continuing for this uh, fall season, hopefully the Dreams of Gaia will be um, graciously coming to me <laughs> and uh, and I'll have some deck reviews up on the way for you guys you all take care and we'll see you later